Hi YouTube, so today I'm recording a full face of first impressions with one brand which is the Kat Von D brand. Um, I am super excited. I tried today the foundation, the concealer, the powder, the eyeshadow, the contour palette and the lips. Oh and the eyeliner. Um, so I'm really really excited to see how I get on with everything um I do come back at the end of the video and let you know how it's held up before I go to work so so far I think everything's looking good and yeah if you want to see how I created this look this eye look and this base then please keep watching okay so I'm just gonna get started please ignore my bad skin it has been so so awful lately and I can't stop picking it like I don't know if any of you are the same but I am such a bad picker so I'm just gonna get started with the foundation because I need to cover this up so I got the shade medium 54 this is what the packaging looks like I love the packaging hopefully this matches me I got matched when I was tan and I have a bit of tan left on so I'm really really hoping this is going to match and that is just the box that it comes in, a really pretty standard box. So you take off the wee cap at the front and I'm just going to apply it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it covers because it's supposed to be really full coverage. So fingers crossed. So I don't know what the best way to do this is. I'm trying to pump it. Oh, we're okay. Okay, the colour might be good. If it doesn't oxidise, I think we're okay. Nice and thick, which is what I like. I am filming with my vlogging camera today, so let me know what you think, because my other camera was out of battery, so I just wanted to get this done. And I quite like the way this, this records, so let me know what you guys think, if you like it better or roughly the same okay so not really too sure how many pumps that was but we're gonna just get started with this i'm just using a flat top cook um cookbooky brush and what is the 104 suiva brush and i'm just going to start doing it like that i think the color is actually pretty perfect i'm just going to stipple this everywhere so far the coverage looks unreal now, a wee update for anyone who is new to my channel. I have oily skin, um, very oily skin, but I would have maybe a wee bit of dry skin on my nose sometimes. But mostly I would be quite oily. I'm now going to use the Locket Concealer. This is the packaging. I got mine in shade Light 7. Um, a girl called Amy Macadisu, I think you call her, or... I could be completely butchering her name. She does YouTube videos as well and she, I got this, I picked this because I ordered this one online. I picked the shade on her recommendation and it is so pale. Like this is probably going to be way too pale but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Um, I did swatch it. It's mega pale so when I'm in London I am going to pick up a darker one of these. Like look how pale that is. I know Amy loves her pale, pale concealers, but I just personally like them a wee bit closer to my skin tone. I'm going to conceal my eyelids with this too, just for the eyeshadow. I'm putting a decent amount on, although I can already feel it's going to be mega full coverage. So I'm going to use the same brush and kind of blend like this and then I'll go on with a smaller brush closer to my eyes okay so so far it blends out really well but I'm worried because it is quite thick that you have to work quickly with it so I am going to just blend it out a bit with this can you see how pale it is um I would say that if you applied far too much of the foundation and the concealer this could look cakey so just be careful when it comes to that Although mega fill coverage again, like half on the you have got this. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. I'm really impressed so far. So this is the bit that I'm most scared about because I did watch a review, Jesse Smiles review on the loose powder. 
Um, it comes just in this box, pretty packaging again, really classy. Um, and she hates this powder, so I am a wee bit scared about using this. I just now Jessie said she loves the Laura Mercier powder and so do I and she said she hates this so I am a little bit scared about this but Jessie also bakes under her eyes which I don't do so I'm hoping that could be a difference for me um, so I'm just going to get that concealer brush again and just get any creases out of my eyelids I'm going to get a wee bit onto my brush and tap it off and just gently Sweep that over. I don't bake, I just put it on and brush it all off. It's hard to tell with not the, with none of the rest of your makeup on, but like it's maybe a wee bit dry, but I think that all powders like that are a wee bit dry. Now I have to say if you don't like fill coverage foundations, like if you're don't really like the cakey side of things, you probably won't like this combination. Because it's like mega fill coverage but it is flawless. Like I'm really really loving it so far. So, so far everything is good impressions. So next I am going to use the shade and light contour palette. Now I did have this before and I have used this. I really really like it. So I'm going to use the middle shade. It, it's kind of my favourite. I'm going to use that shade just on this like kind of big brush I am I've been loving the bigger brushes to contour with lately. No I, I don't have a bronzer. I probably could use one like a mix of these but I don't really want to because they're more in the cool tone because they are contour shades so they're more um cool tone so I'm just gonna use my normal bronzer um which is the NYX medium bronzer and I'm just gonna bronze up around my forehead a lot of people contour around their forehead but I prefer just to add a wee bit of bronzer because it, it has the same effect but it's a bit warmer and bronze up my cheeks too Um, for a highlight and blush I don't have any I don't think Casson Day has any out and the highlight shades in here are all matte so they're more setting powder so I'm just going to go in with my Jeffree Star highlight in King Tut and apply that for blush i'm just going to use my mac um fever blush it is like a gorgeous bumpy shade for win winter and i'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks now on to the eyes i am actually going to fill in my eyebrows quickly and then i'll come back and zoom in a wee bit more for the eyes Okay, so I have done my eyebrows now and I'm moving on to the eyeshadow. I have the Shade and Light um, Eye Contour Palette. Now, I love this. How pretty is this? This is like every basic colour that you could possibly need. I think it's all mattes. I don't see any shimmer. Um, which is nice because it can be like an everyday palette but you can really smoke it up as well. So I'm going to get a bit of that lightest white and just set under my brow bone with it. With a wee flat shader brush. Just like that I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get this large peachy colour. And with a big fluffy brush I'm going to use this as my transition colour. This is just going to go on quite roughly. I am loving the pigment of this, by the way. So far, I am liking this. And this colour is lovely for a transition colour. Like a nice warm transition colour. And then just kind of blend it into the white. I hope I'm still on screen. I'm like the crappest person for film tutorials. Because I'm never in screen. That's why I feel like I don't do that many tutorials because like they're actually really hard to film. Whereas the sit down like talking ones are like so much easier because obviously you're just in screen all the time. You're not moving your face. Sorry if my eyes look a wee bit bloodshot and red. It is not this makeup. Um, I have been up really early because I was doing makeup really early for a graduation today. Uh, so at one I am really really tired and I also had a wee bit of foundation on just for just doing the makeups because obviously my skin's been awful so they're mega bloodshot at the minute 
So I took it off and when I was taking it off, the makeup wipe really, really annoyed my eyes because it wasn't my normal makeup wipe. So I'm not really used to that, but okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. We can maybe go in and blend that again later when I brighten up the highlight on the brow bone. Now I'm going to go in with this like kind of ready tone brown. I think it is a really, really nice color. So I'm going to go in with that with like a medium fluffy brush and concentrate this in the outer corners. I'm not massively doing like a really hard dramatic look. Like I'm literally doing like an everyday look because I really want to test to see how good the shadows are. And so far they are blending out really, really nice. Whoa, I love that color. That is so pretty. And you can really build them up, build them up which is what I like. Then I'm just getting my fluffy brush again and going to blend that out. Just so all the corners and edges are all nice. That colour is so pretty. I hope you're getting like the true effect of this colour but I'm really not too sure about this camera recording so hopefully. Hopefully you are and hopefully I'm staying in frame okay. I'm going to use the same brush and do the same underneath. This palette is like the perfect kind of everyday palette because as I said you can really really glam this up and make it like super glam and dark and smoky but you can also create a really nice everyday makeup like whether it's going to school or work or whatever and see for the size of shadows £36 for this palette is really not bad at all like I'm really impressed with it. Okay so I'm going to darken it with that brown just a wee bit just on a slightly smaller billet brush and just kind of darken the outer corner I think I might even go in with black so I'm going to go in with the black which looks super black so I'm excited to try this out and a really small pointer brush and just darken off the very very outer corners and then connecting underneath it just at the very outer corner again and then I'm going to get the flat shader brush and the white colour and put that in the inner corner and a wee bit onto the lid. And then what I'm just going to do is get the big fluffy brush and just kind of make sure all the edges of that are blended in. So that is the eye look. I'm now going to get the Cat Von D liner, tattoo liner. So I haven't used this one before. I don't even know what it looks like. Oh, right, okay, it's a pen. I have not used these before, so let's hope that I can stay in frame while I'm doing this. That glided on so, so well, so I'm really, really pleased with that, and I think they look nice and black. So I'm going to put on some lashes and um, I will be back in a minute and then we will choose what liquid lip to put on. Okay, so I have my lashes and mascara on now. I just went for like a wee bit more natural lashes than what I normally wear because I am working later tonight. So now for the lips. I have three of Kat's um, liquid lipsticks. I also want to pick up some of her actual lipsticks but I didn't get the chance. So I have the first one which is Olita 2. That's the first one that I got. I was supposed to get just Lolita but I ordered this one by accident. It's not really my colour, it's more of like a ready undertone. And then I have Lolita and I have Bow and Arrow. I might try Lolita today um, because Bow and Arrow is quite like the one that I normally wear anyway. So that is Lolita 2 on. Again, it's maybe a wee bit darker than what I'm used to but I do actually really like it. Bow and Arrow is probably my favourite out of all of them. Um, but I do like this for a change. It's like a nice kind of mm, darkish nude, pinky, mauve. I am rubbish at describing, but I do actually really like it. So this is the final look with the foundation, the lips, the eyes. I'm really, really happy. I really like it actually. Okay, so um, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.